Hi everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. You're on Tony's Witchy Arts and Crafts. I'm Tony. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Alright, so I am doggy setting. Furry baby setting for a friend. And I thought I would show you my craft kit. Tote bag. I don't know what to call this thing. My friend gave it to me about a year ago, and I'm just now able to use it. But maybe it's called a caddy. If you guys know the official name to this thing, let me know. It's got this handle on it. It's big. It's got a zipper on the front. All the pockets. Yeah, I got I I have it I have it stuffed. Hold on, let me get him to stop barking. Okay, I'm back. Apparently the mailman was here and the dogs started going off. <laughs> but yeah. I have this thing. And it's loaded two gills. So I wanted to show you that. It's so loaded there's some pockets I can't even use. I got everything stuck. Alright, I guess we'll start this front section right here. Or technically this is the back. So I got my stickles. So I got uh, it's like a brownish glitter one. No, that's the brown. What color is this? I think this one's more like a gun metal. Where's the camera? No, not very good lighting. Hey, I already checked. Go lay down. <laughs> I got some pearls. And here's like a pinkish pearl. And then a green pearl. And then I'll turn to the side pocket here. I've got two scissors, got a little pen here, got some Dollar Tree, and then, what else is, oh, I got my glue. This was gifted to me. I am not sure if I like it or not. I'm still trying to determine. I mean, it sticks well but it kind of makes your paper ripple a little bit and I don't like that and then we'll turn to this part area here actually, we're still in the back the back pocket up here oh, here they go again <laughs> okay, they're done alright, and this pocket up here still in the back still in the back um I have some washi tape samples. I have a Halloween stamp. No, that's, that's my fairy stamp. Got from Timu last year. I haven't got to play with that one much. I need to. Here's some Halloween stamps. I got this one from um, Civil Moon Creations when she did her witchy box. Um, I still haven't got to use this one. I need a bigger... I don't have a big uh, stamp platform to put this stamp on. But I thought I would try to play with it. Missy gave it to me during our swap last year. So, and then I have a whole bunch of Dollar Tree stamps. And then these are just words. We got these ones not too long ago. Some more words. I think Dollar Tree's up in their game. They really are. And then I got my shears. I got these. I brought these ones because um, it, they, they're called shears, right? But they give my the edge my papers texture. Got this. Hairless. I brought embossing or 
embossing tool, right? And then my little Dollar Tree tool here. And then I have this um, miniature, the watercolor art colors flip kit. So it's a miniature. Let's see, let me pull it out. I thought I'd shown this was sent to me, but this is watercolor kit. So you got like a sponge here, and it's removable. So when it gets too dirty, you can take it off and wash it. And then you got a paintbrush here, and it's a watercolor paintbrush, so it holds water. And then you got all these different colors here. And it's like traveling size. You can put this in your purse. And I just did a little splot just so I know what the colors look like. So I brought that with me in case I wanted to do some watercolor. You know, when you're obsessed as much as I am over art stuff and you have to be out of the house for quite some time, <laughs> You gotta have some backup. I don't think there's anything else in there. Alright, so to the side. Now we can move to the front. Alright, so I don't think I have anything. Oh, I put there. Oh, scrap from last time. <laughs> I put in that little pocket there. Yeah, I got some uh, markers here, which are kind of like water based, but they're really easy to add water to and move around. Got those right here. Mm, looks like I got a pencil there, and then in this top pocket, I have this miniature. I can't remember who sent this to me. I might have gotten it in a stash, but it's so adorable. See, when I was in my art room, I have so many other things I can use to cut with, and so I never gravitated towards using this. So this is perfect to take. I think I got measurements on it. Where is it? It says six inches. So this is six, six inches long, right? And then that's two and two and a half. No, that's more than that. One, two, three, four, four inches across. It's so tiny, it's perfect for this. Of course, I have to have my tape everywhere I go. I have some Halloween ephemera that I can cut out and use. Um, I have some fall theme stuff I can cut out and use. And then some scraps that I can use. And scraps. And then I've got some metallic sharpies that I can use. Uh, so then I have this is a drawing set in case I want to draw because lately I've been trying to get back to my roots. So I have a drawing. These are just drawing pencils and charcoal. So that's all in that pocket. Alright, so let me get this back in there. Get all my little scraps. Put those in there. Cards today, or just play around with making embellishments. 
got some more stickers here. And then this pocket right here, I got a ton of fabric, laces, scraps, stuff that I can use for texture. Okay, so before we get to the middle, there's a little pocket right here that zips open. If I can get it to zip open. And then there's a door that comes out. There's a door that comes out. I got some goodies in here. So I got some die cuts of leaves. I can use on cards. Some more stickers. These ones are really pretty. Beautiful ladies. Oh, here's a gummy eraser for my drawing. I got a whole bunch of different washi tapes in here. I got an uh, ink pad because I got a bunch of stamps. And an ink block which has been used and abused. <laughs> Some more washi tapes. I got some dew drops. I uh, got some um, gems, some bling bling. I got some of that in here. And there they go, barking. <laughs> uh, eraser. And that's it. I think it will look like that. Yeah, that's it. And just some of the gems. So, if you use a tote like this, what do you use it for? And what do you keep in it? Do share? Please do share. Sorry for all the barking. I am babysitting. Six or seven doggies. So they are all sweethearts. So I love them so much. <coughs> oh wait, no. I promised you we would get to this middle part right here. <laughs> so I'm not gonna pull everything out because I got it packed in there tight. But I can tell you what I got. I got some BB craft um, stamps. I just recently got those. I got some card bases, a little drawing book, some note cards or index cards in case I want to make um, journaling cards. I've got some scrapbook paper that I got from Timu and from Joanne and Michael's. Oh, and I did squeeze in some of my flowers I just got from Dollar Tree. Squeezed those in. And I think the rest of the stickers that I squeezed in here are also from Dollar Tree. A lot of Dollar Tree stuff. I have an obsession with Dollar Tree stickers, and I have a lot of them, so I need to start using them more often. Um, there's some more paper from Timo. Dollar Tree stickers. Um, uh, I have a sticker book. Well, it, I think it was me mainly for a like planner sticker book type stickers, you know, but I use them for embellishments and some journals and stuff. Some more card bases that I got from Bex last year. I think it was last year when she sent us the deep stuff. Yeah. And some more stamps. Oh yeah, the other stamp set that uh, Silver Moon Creations had in her fairy box. I got that in here too. So I am loaded to the gills. I can either make embellishments, cards, maybe a little art page. I don't know yet. Probably I might just make some embellishments today. But I didn't know. So maybe I'll make I'll, I'll make a separate video on what I made. Okay. All right. You all have a beautiful day. Bye.